You want your holiday roast to be perfect, so start at Safeway. We offer the highest quality USDA choice beef, and we can custom cut it just the way you like. Pick up your bone-in prime rib roast today. Hole in the bag for only $4.47 per pound with Just For You digital download. And earn up to six times reward points this season with Safeway. The more you spend, the more rewards you earn. Get this great deal on Just For You on the Safeway app. Some limits may apply. Safeway. Fresh foods. Local flavors. The following is a Hoop Bowl presentation. Everybody. Welcome back for another episode of Today in Sports Betting. We had a uh, a rough day, didn't we? I mean, we got lucky. We got lucky. I, I, I talked about it on the show. I said if KD sits, sits, there's a good chance that Kyrie sits. That did happen. So we did get we did get the Grizzlies plus five and a half. At least I did while I was doing the show with you guys yesterday. I was happy to take that one. But man, they did not make that easy in overtime. Karis Levert looked amazing. Um, that was an intense game intense game but that one paid off uh for those who remember i was very high on the robert covington over bet the shots were there over over ten and a half points the shots were there uh, just unfortunately they weren't dropping he, he's gonna put it together those lines are gonna be able to be there for us i think i'm gonna just keep taking that over the shots are th- he was two for nine from the field i mean he got blocked a couple times the one thing though is that that Portland offense is not not very friendly. It's a, a lot of ISO ball. They talk about it on the telecast a lot. It's just a lot of isolation and driving kicks. And there was a lot of times where you saw Covington wide open. The shots just weren't falling for him. So again, I'll be high on a Covington over ten and a half points. Who knows? Maybe it's even smaller in the next game. Maybe he goes to nine and a half like Joe Ingles. Joe Ingles was another person I was thinking about taking the over on. I actually didn't do that one, um, but I was I was thinking about it. I was going to parlay it with something. Uh, just unfortunately, I didn't do it. And good thing I didn't because he only scored four points. It was an odd day. Odd, odd day. And we expected it too with the lines that we saw. So there was that. Uh, for those who don't know, joining us for the first time, thank you. Welcome. This is a Hoop Dash Ball presentation. I'm your host today, Vince Miracle, once again filling in for these NBA bets. This show is sponsored by MyBookie.ag. Everyone go to MyBookie.ag. Use promo code HoopBall. That's H-O-O-P-B-A-L-L, HoopBall, and they will match up to your first, I believe it's $1,000, deposit and then also reach out to dan bespris that's at dan bespris on twitter uh, and he will hook you up with an even bigger prize for those who don't know we also have a wager pass at hoop-ball.com where you guys actually get to see our final picks of the day not only do you get to see the final picks of the day you get to see it first if you are also in the discord where we actually have the conversations of why we're leaning onto those bets a lot to be had there it's only 499 one time payment, four ninety nine. The wager pass. Everyone go sign up for that. We had some home runs yesterday. Aaron Bruski, the leader, the creator of Hoop Ball, uh, joined in on wager pass for the second time this year. He's had he's three and zero. He had Detroit plus ten, and I believe he also had. I believe he also had the the Blazers. It was something like that. He had an, he had another bet, but all I know he, for five units. Total of 3-0, and he's up. He's feeling good. So join that there. I'm, 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 I'm even right now. I'm even in terms of where I'm at. I've hit, I've hit a couple of big ones, and I've, I've lost a couple. So I believe on the year for my wager passes, I'm right around 3-3 three and three with a total unit of a half, a half a unit up. So I'm not doing the greatest as of right now. The money, money wise, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, but just unit wise, uh, it, it's, it's a half a unit up from the units that I'll be betting. With that said, we do have a big card today to bounce back from tomorrow. Let's go ahead and start that off right now with the Golden State Warriors versus the Detroit Pistons. The Warriors are four and a half point favorites coming into this game. Uh, with the Pistons team that hopefully 
Uh, there's no there's no word yet. We'll have Blake Griffin back in this game, who is sitting out due to load management, uh, injury management. I think was the was the actual label. The Pistons are coming in on the second night of a back to back. Four and a half point underdogs to this Warriors team that will still not have Draymond Green. This Pistons team is gritty. The Warriors team just won on a buzzer beater. They're coming on a, on a high. I'm not sure Killian Hayes is really going to be that good guarding Steph Curry. Man, I'll, I'll be honest. I think I'm fading this one. I, I don't I don't really like anything about this bet. If I had to choose, maybe I would do the money line at minus 180. But, you know, that's just, I mean, obviously a two-to-one bet. You're just kind of looking for the cheapie there. There's nothing really to be had. If you go to the prop, the well, first, let's go to the over under. Over under on two twenty six. I kind of like that. I mean, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm rolling. I think I'm gonna roll with the under on that two twenty six. I like the under on that two twenty six. I just don't see the Pistons scoring as much, especially on the second night of a back to back. We saw it with the Lakers. They, you kind of just start seeing them wear out toward the end. I get that this Pistons team is a little bit younger, a little bit feistier. You know, Mason Plumlee's look good. He's going to have an advantage for those who play FanDuel. I think he's a really good play at 6,000 FanDuel points. Um, but, yeah, I think I think you take the under on that. You do the money line. You stay away from that spread. It scares me a little too much. Let's go to the prop builder over here. The over-under on points. You have Blake Griffin already put on here, so maybe there is an announcement. I just haven't seen it yet. Over under on twenty points. If he plays, I'm gonna take the over. I, I just I don't know anybody on that on that Warriors team that can really slow him down. I like that a lot. So I'd take the over if he is playing. Twenty eight and a half points for Curry. Man, that's a tough one because I don't know if Killian Hayes can actually stop him. They're just gonna put a wall at the three point line. I think he probably gets more assists. Hmm. Hmm. I think I think I gotta stay away from that one. The Ubre fourteen and a half points. The under is actually pretty high at minus one sixteen. He's gonna have that game. He is just like, in my mind, like a Robert Covington in terms of he just hasn't got it going yet. But those shots will start to fall. I fourteen and a half is still kind of high, but he takes so many shots. I mean, he's a he's a he's a big part of that offense. He brings that energy. The steals could be there. I could see a few putbacks. Energy alone, I can see him getting to that 14 and a half. If I had to go one way or the other, I'm leaning to the over. I might not even touch it, but of the two, I'm leaning toward the over there. Mason Plumley, eight and a half points. I mean, he's more of a passer, but you can easily see him getting ten. Let's go ahead and go ahead and move, move on to my favorite one, which is the player performance double doubles. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. So, of those again, repeating it back, I'll take the over on 20 points for Blake Griffin, staying away from Steph. If I had to choose between over or under on 14 and a half points for Kelly Oubre, I know a lot of people are going to like that one. I'm leaning toward the over. At some point, he's going to get it going. My mindset is just like Robert Covington yesterday. Those shots will start to fall, and when it does, he's going to be a key part of that team. I can easily see him averaging 16 to 18 points a game this season, so he just needs to get it rolling. It's still early. Those could, those could be the value bets right there. Andrew Wiggins to have 20-plus points and a Golden State Warriors win at plus 162. I like that a lot. Again, Wiggins just hasn't got it going yet. We haven't really got to see him put it all, all together I like this matchup between him and DeLon Wright. He has the advantage there. I like Wiggins, 20 plus points, plus 162. 20 points is a lot, though. I mean, but he, he gets buckets. I mean, he can get buckets in multiple different ways. The shooting, dunking, driving. If I had to bet on one of the other, though, I'd probably going to go with Kelly Oubre. And there is one right here. Kelly Oubre to have three three-pointers and a Golden State Warriors win is uh plus 198 so almost two to one that's not bad as i scroll down here steph curry to have three plus three pointers and a golden state warriors win is at minus 123 but if you add an additional three pointer so if he gets to four i mean this doesn't really make much sense if he has three plus three pointers so if he makes three three pointers and the warriors wins minus 123 if you get steph curry making four three pointers 
and the Warriors win, it's plus 110. So they, they do expect him to kind of go off tonight, which is expected. I mean, Killian Hayes, DeLon Wright, no one's going to stop him. And I'm, I'd expect DeLon Wright to be on Curry, which means you're going to see a lot of Killian Hayes on either Oubre, which I still think that's going to be Josh Jackson guarding him, or Wiggins. Whoever Killian Hayes is guarding, that's who they're going to be targeting in that game. Derrick Rose, same same idea. Their, their best defender on that team is DeLon Wright. DeLon Wright needs to be on the court for them as much as possible. And he's not even a prop bet that you can even have out here. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even really... I, I'm betting on one of these wing players in Wiggins or Oubre to really have a nice game. Not a big fan of this game, really. The minus four and a half, like I said, if you were going to take anything out of this line, I would definitely take the under on 226 and the money line for the Golden State Warriors. Then I would take the over on 14 and a half points for Kelly Oubre. Move on to the next game. Tip-off time is the exact same as that first game, 4 p.m. Uh, you have the Toronto Raptors versus the Philadelphia 76ers where it has already came out that Joel Embiid is probable to play. He is expected to play. He is expected back. I do see the Sixers winning this game. Minus one and a half points. I like that. They just got blown out. They were just embarrassed in their last game. This will be a big game for them. I like the bounce back. I also like the size advantage that Joel Embiid has, the skill advantage that he has over Aaron Baines. He's going to play a huge factor in this game. I think the size advantage of Ben Simmons. I think you're going to see a lot of a lot of Seth Curry in this game. I love his matchup with Fred Van Vliet. I think that's a good, you know, shooting under under undersized shooting guard matchup. Obviously, Van Vliet has the advantage there in terms of player, but I just think that's going to be a good matchup to watch. It's going to be a close one. I like the minus one and a half points. That's good there. If you don't want to have any points on the line, since minus one and a half is just minus one ten. Uh, on odds, you might as well just take the money line at minus 120. I like either side, though. It's literally a coin flip. You can bet on the Raptors and get even money, and maybe that's where more of the value of the money is. But I do like this Philadelphia 76ers team. I think the last game was just a just you know a blimp, just a little, just a side cloud. That's not really what you'll see from them uh, on a nightly basis, especially when Embiid and Simmons are in the lineup together. So I like I like I like the Sixers minus one and a half there or or money line I like that I like this game a lot all about the Sixers the over under on two eighteen and a half hmm I like the over man I think the Raptors are I think Norman they got Norman Powell Chris Boucher has been nice defensively which leads to fast breaks and that that leads to a Lowry getting an and one a Fred Van Viet three OG's been okay. I think it just comes down to Norman Powell making some more shots. I like the over in that game. I like the over on 218 and a half. I was like, crook going in here. Let's go ahead and see what I can get in terms of these prop bets. Let's go the over under on points. Ben Simmons over under 15 and a half points. I'd take the over on that one. I definitely see him getting at least 16 points, eight rebounds, nine assists. Danny Green, over, under on eight. I'm not going to touch that at all. If I had to choose, I guess I would go with the over just because eight, ten points is just so easy, easily got, got attainable. Couldn't even speak right there. Still need my cup of coffee, I can tell. Mm, you keep rolling down the line here. Aaron Baines, 11 and a half. Probably, mm, I can see him scoring 10. I don't know about 12. Probably still fading that one. I like Lowry today, man. I think Lowry is going to be good. I didn't even talk about Siakam when I'm talking about people that can score. Siakam's going to get buckets. Uh, Lowry, 18 and a half points. I think he's going to play a big factor. I think he scores 22. I take the over. I take the over on that. And, and Vegas agrees as well. Vegas sees that as a minus 116, where if you get, get on the under, it's minus 11. So it's favored to go over. I do like the over here for 18 and a half points. Same thing with, same thing with Van Vliet. If you're going with one or the other, I mean, probably with Van Vliet, just because he he's he's a little bit more uh, spicier in terms of with the ball. He hits those floaters, those deep threes. He likes to get off with the handle. I like Van Vliet here uh, at seventeen and a half, a point less than what they're expecting Lowry a Lowry's price point to be at eighteen and a half. So take the over seventeen and a half for Fred Van Vliet as well. Amazon is hiring near you. 
looking for team members who know that their work is important and that every package matters. Find a job that fits your life with competitive wages, reliable hours, and benefits. Let's work together from boxing it up to sending it on its way. Every step offers a different role and schedule. So, are you ready to work together in your community? Visit Amazon.com slash apply to see what's available. That's Amazon.com slash apply. Amazon is an equal opportunity employer. Who are you texting? My therapist. You text with your therapist? Text, video chat, call? Yep. That sounds too easy. How did you find her? I just went to betterhelp.com slash save. She's a licensed therapist and it's all online. I connect when it's convenient for me and don't waste time driving anywhere. Plus it's affordable. I wonder if I should try it. It's great to talk to someone in confidence. She's helped me sort out quite a few things. And right now you save 10% off the first month when you go through betterhelp.com slash save. Betterhelp.com slash save. Got it. Points, rebound, assists. This is a this is another one. For those who don't know what over under on points, rebound, and assists, it means that the combination of all three of them put together will equal this amount of points. So let's say for example you get fifteen points, five rebounds, five assists, that's a total of twenty five points. And that's where you get your over unders there. The over under on thirty and a half points for Ben Simmons, I like the over here. I like the over here. I think you're gonna see Big, I think you're going to see big, big numbers from Ben Simmons today. I think this is the Ben Simmons game, especially now that Embiid is going to be there to take take a lot of the workload away from him, and, and be it uh, the the defense's main main target. So I think Ben Simmons can have one of those games where you see twenty eight and eight, and he that's already I mean that's what thirty six points. That's over that 30 and a half. So I would take that for sure. It's a minus 106. I like the over 30 and a half here for Ben Simmons. Let's go to the player performance double doubles. My favorite one already right off the top. Ben Simmons five plus assists and a Philadelphia win is plus 100. Take that for sure. I, I expect him to get eight assists. So, I mean, you can go down the line from five all the way to eight. I love the Ben Simmons line today, but mainly because these player player performance double doubles. Obviously, it looks like they're always leaning toward the win until until the game is live. I've realized so, and I couldn't figure that out yesterday. So I figured that out, and it's when the game is live. If you choose a player performance double double, you can see if there's a loss in there, and occasionally they'll throw them in, but it's not a guarantee that that will always be in there for you. But the Ben Simmons five plus assists and a Philadelphia win for even money. Love that bet. Anything past it, so if you think that he's going to get six, seven, eight, I personally think he's getting eight assists in this game, and the Philadelphia Sixers are going to win. I like the eight plus assists. Philadelphia 76ers win for plus 198. I think that's a lot of value there. I think it's definitely uh, possible for him to obtain that. I'm going with Ben Simmons here on that one for sure. Scrolling down the way here, trying to see if there's anything else that we can definitely put some money on I'm trying to see if Kyle Lowry has anything Kyle Lowry or Siakam has anything really good to be had Seth Curry with three made three three pointers and the Philadelphia win is a plus 215 that's all he's going to do is shoot some threes I, I like that one I wouldn't go crazy it's a nice little lotto ticket though three three pointers and a Philly win I like that a lot so nothing else on the player double doubles. I think again, this is the Ben Simmons show for me. I, I I love Ben Simmons in this game. I think the Sixers win. I think basically one and a half money line and under all all are hits for me. So you can do minus one and a half, minus for the for the spread, money lines minus one twenty. I like the Sixers there. Under on two eighteen and a half. Love all three of those. The over under for Ben Simmons for points, rebounds, and assists at thirty and a half. I'm taking the over on that. I think he's I think he's gonna have one of those games where it's eighteen, eight and eight. Uh so I, I see that as being a big one. And then also Ben Simmons five plus assists and a Philadelphia win. Love that bet for even money. And then you can just make your way down the line there. Since I am saying eight assists, that is my projection for him in this game. Eight plus assists and a Philadelphia win is plus one ninety eight right now. So I like that one a lot as well. We go ahead and move on to the next game. The Boston Celtics getting their rematch against the Indiana Pacers, who defeated them uh, about two days ago. 
This Pacers team, man, they are fun to watch. Brogdon has been so good, but not only that, the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, DeMontis Sabonis, has been a m -m 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 monster this season. I just traded for him in a fantasy league. I'm not even going to lie to you. I just traded him. It involved Carl Anthony Towns. Um, yeah, I just traded I just traded for DeMontis Sabonis. And it wasn't a straight-up bet, so you guys people don't get crazy acting as if I just did Cat for Sabonis straight up. That didn't happen. I threw KD in there, so I got KD and Sabonis for Cat and like Evan Fournier and another piece. Long story short, I got Sabonis. The player of the week in the Eastern Conference. The guy's been a monster. They're one point favorites today. I still like the Pacers. There's something about this Celtics team that has really been bugging me. And you can tell in every game that every opponent is figuring out. Take out Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and let everybody else beat you and see what happens. Maybe Marcus Smart goes off in this game. Maybe this is the Marcus Smart gets three three-pointers and, you know, eight assists type of game, seven assists type of game. Maybe this is where the defense wins them the game. But it's one-on-one -on -one for Jason Tatum, one-on-one -on -one for Jalen Brown, and they don't have much else away from that. There's not another player that you can look to on this Boston team that gets them a bucket consistently that it, that I, I can trust. Like, yeah, I get this Boston team is good. Obviously, Jason Tatum is a star. Jalen Brown is a star. Like, I get that. and But I just think until Kemba is back to relieve, you know, them on their scoring, it's, it's so hard for them to be consistent uh, in terms of being able to outscore every team. And I think this Pacers team... You know, they're, they're really starting to find their legs. I mean, T.J. Warren hasn't really even gone off yet. They they were missing Victor Oladipo in the last game. He is returning back for this one. Brogdon, again, he's been a stud this season. He's been amazing. Um, I like that Pacers team, man. I'm taking the money line on this, minus 115. I'm taking them minus one. I, again, I think they're winning this game. I'm not going to touch the over-under because it can go either way. I, I really don't know about over-under on 218. But I still like the Pacers. I just I just don't think the Celtics have figured it all out yet. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong. They almost won in the last game against the Pacers. I just feel like the Pacers have more to throw at them. Obviously, why they're favored. I just feel like they should be favored by at least two. They're in Indiana. They're at home. So Vegas lines are probably swaying more to the Celtics. If I had to make a prediction, Dan Bresbris is going to tell me that he's leaning Celtics on this one. Just me personally, I think the Pacers have just shown that they're a real gritty team. I mean, I don't think I don't even think Miles Turner has less than like four blocks in a game so far this season. His defense has been crazy. Sabonis has just been crazy rebounding as well as defensively, obviously staying low. He's so big, passing. He's just a big focal point of that office. Uh, offense. Brogdon's been amazing again. Oladipo wasn't even in the last game. It's just everything for me in my mind when I say it out loud makes more sense to go to the Pacers. When I look at it on paper, I just don't see anybody away from Tatum and Brown that can keep up with the with the power, offensive power and defensive power that that the Pacers bring. And it's going to come down to Marcus Smart and the and the and the hustle plays of Smart and maybe a a Tristan Thompson and obviously it's going to come down to Jeff Teague making shots. So, with that all said, again, Minus one, taking that money line, taking that. Love the Pacers again today. Love is a big word. Like the Pacers today. I can totally see the I can totally see the Celtics winning. Just the way I'm looking at it, I'm going with I'm going with the Pacers. Over under prop bets here. I'm just gonna look to see. I've been just kind of naming some of them off. And I'm just looking over them here. Over under 19 and a half points for Sabonis. Man, I, I'm slightly leaning to the over on that one. Slightly. Slightly leaning to the over on that one. Over under 17 and a half points for Brogdon. Hmm. I like the. Man, that's so hard because all the depots back. I'm not even going to touch those, man. If I had to touch on any of them, I'd probably go. 
Yeah, if I had to go with any of them, I'm probably going to go over 13.5 points for Marcus Smart in the mindset of that's that's the player that's going to have to step up. Maybe over over as well on Miles Turner on 11 points. So he love, over 11 points for Miles Turner, I like that as well. Points, rebound, assist props. Let's see what we have here. 28 for Brogdon. Can totally see him doing that. Man, I can't. I can. Seventeen five and five. That doesn't get you over twenty eight. I I just don't know if that that's actually doable for me today. These are some big lines. Jalen Brown twenty five and five. Ooh, he need to get those assists. Man, these these over unders on this one is pretty high, and it's because these guys have been averaging some crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna avoid that as well. As I'm just looking down here again, Malcolm Brogdon over under six and a half assists. I'm gonna go over on that one as well. Oh, I like this one over under four and a half assists for Sabonis. I'm gonna take the over. Sabonis has that ball. He's a great passer for a big man. I like that a lot. Player performance double doubles. Sabonis five plus assists and an Indiana in a win. Man, I like Sabonis with that man. That's a plus one seventy. I like that a lot. If you think Boston is going to win, I love this one here as well. Jalen Brown has 20-plus points, and Boston wins. That's a plus 116. I like that a lot. Jason Tatum with 25 points and a Boston win is plus 168. I mean, he's the focal point on offense. He's He has to score buckets away from him. I don't know who else is going to get buckets. Malcolm Brogdon gets five plus assists and an Indiana win is on minus one oh eight. You add one more assist to that, so Malcolm brought him six plus assists and an Indiana win. That's a plus one thirty one. I like that bet a lot. I think he gets seven assists today for sure. I think he gets seven, eight assists. Seven, eight assists, Indiana wins, plus one thirty one. I like that one as well. My favorite one so far though is the Sabonis five assists, Indiana win. The one that I'm looking for the most though is like a TJ Warren. A TJ Warren, 20 points and a win, but it doesn't look like they have that here. Crazy enough, though, they have TJ Warren, 40 points and an Indiana win for a plus 1250, which is crazy. But they don't have nothing with, with 20 points or 15 points or anything like that. He hasn't had anything crazy. He hasn't had, like, an amazing game, so I wonder why they haven't added a lot of TJ Warren props here. So, yeah, the ones I like, I like the Brogdon. Brogdon, 5-plus assists, Indiana win for a minus 108. Brogdon, six plus assists, and Indiana win for a plus 131. My favorite one on the day is going to be the Sabonis, five plus assists, Indiana win. And if you are on the Boston side, if you're still leaning Boston, completely understand you. Uh, know that Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are going to be your main primary scorers. I like Jalen Brown having 20 plus points for a Boston win for plus 116. And for the over under on, J- on Jalen Brown, I mean, they have Jalen Brown as over under on scoring points is 22. 22 and a half, actually, for a prop builder. So, I mean, they're already thinking he's going to be over 20. So, to take that, and if your mindset is, hey, they're going to win, and, and Vegas has it as a coin flip. So, I completely understand why you would lean that way. If you think Boston is winning that 20 points and a Boston win, that's not bad. Plus 116. It's good money. Good money to be had there. I like that game a lot. That's like one of my favorite games of the day. It's better than Sixers Raptors. So it already, so going down the list, that's still my favorite game of the day. Wow, there's a lot of points to be had in this next game though. You have Bulls versus the Wizards. Wizards coming in as six and a half point favorites. Obviously, we know that Russell Westbrook will be back in this game. Bulls coming in on a buzzer beater loss to the Warriors in their last game out home against the uh, against the Warriors. Damian Lee, what a shot. It was a tough shot, too. Minus 6.5 for the Wizards is a lot, though. They give up a lot of points. I like the Bulls with the points here. I like Bulls plus 6.5. I can totally see them winning this game. Is Markinen playing? Let me go see if Markinen's playing. I know that they were wondering if Markinen was getting in here. So let's go to Bulls injury report. And this gives me a chance to remind you guys that this is a Hoop Dash Ball presentation. I am your host today, Vince Miracle. You guys can follow me on all social media platforms of at VM Center. So as I pulled up the Bulls injury report, 
Lori Markinen is still questionable to play today against the Wizards. However, looks like Thad Young is probable. So there's a good chance that both of them play. I think I think Lori Markin is going to play. I'll just be honest. And I and I the, I watched him play in the last game. I know I think he was like a rolled ankle or something like that, but he played through it. He was he was Lori Markin's good this year. Like he's going to be a good player. I really like Lori Markin as a player. If he plays I think that line changes. I think Lori Markin pay, plays a huge factor in this game today. I also think Wendell Carter Jr. is better than Thomas Bryant. And if you're looking at it from a rebounding perspective, I think you're going to see a lot more Robin Lopez in this game uh, than Thomas Bryant. So, yeah, I'm leaning Bulls with the points. Give me those. Give me those plus six and a half. I'm taking those Bulls over under on two thirty seven. Man, like I said, this is, this is going to be a lot of points in this game. That's the highest point total so far that, uh, since we started covering the the games. So two thirty seven and a half. Wow. I can so see that going over. I can just see a back and forth game. It's just who's going to play defense first. Bradley Beal's going to go off, and then Zach Levine's going to get a ton of buckets. Zach Levine's going to have his best game of the year this year uh, on this one. I think. I think this is going to be a big game. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm staying away from that. I'm staying away from that. Two thirty-seven and a half. That's just so many points. If I had to choose one or the other, I guess I'd go under, just because it's so many. But. I would. I personally would just stay away from it. I would go Bulls plus six and a half. Over under on the points. Looking down here, you have Kobe Wyatt at seventeen and a half. Probably not touching that. Patrick Williams, the rookie who's been nice, nine and a half points. Probably not touching that. I'd. I'd, I'd rather of the two rookies that they have here of Patrick Williams and Advia. I like Advia with the over on eight and a half points. I think that I think that they realized in the last game how good he can be. He's a good passer, really good shooter, likes to drive to the basket. Over eight and a half points, I would take that. Um, it's just hard to take any of those rookies, though. Even though I would take that, I don't know if I'm personally going to put that in my actual bets. You guys have to get the wager pass to find out what my actual bets will be on the day. But... If I had to choose between those two rookies, I would choose Advia, Advia, the the Wizards rookie, the Wizards rookie. He's good. Advia, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. You guys can let me know. Russell Westbrook over under is twenty two and a half. Beals over under is twenty nine and a half. There's gonna be no defense. I mean, you can dang near go over on any of this stuff here. I don't. I don't really like any of that stuff. This is going to be a big one. Over, under, on 41.5 points for Russell Westbrook on a points, rebound, and assist game. Man, again, I can so see him getting like 22, 10, and 15. That's 47. I mean, it it could go either way with, <laughs> with Westbrook. Westbrook is going to mess around and get a triple-double. He's going to run back his OKC triple-double year here. Scotty Brooks is saying, go for it. Bradley Beal is arguably better than Paul George, so you're you're really running back that OKC team from when he was averaging a triple-double and brought him to the playoffs. So he's going to look good. Over, under, you got to stay away, man. That's just so many points. You got to you gotta be thinking he's just going to get the triple-double. Yeah, I got to stay away. I got to stay away. Yeah, I don't like any of these. These are so high. It's this game is just, they think there's going to be so many points that they, they they just see the point total there. Over under eight and a half points or eight and a half assists for Westbrook. Obviously, they're leaning heavy to the over at minus one fifty six. As am I. I think he's he's going to get more assists than rebounds. If anything, I mean, if I had to choose on the over under on points, rebound, assists in this game, I'm leaning toward the over. On 41 and a half. I know I just jumped there from assists to points, rebound, and assist props. But it's because this game is so crazy. Like, you look at everywhere and you just are blown away by the number. The number is what gets me. The only bet that I'm secure with saying that I would take with any certainty is Bulls plus six and a half. I like the over for Westbrook at 41 and a half for points of points, rebounds, and assist totals. I like the over eight and a half assists. I like the over five and a half assists for for Bradley Beal as well. 
I'm not even going to go into the player performance double doubles. There's going to be too much there. There's going to be way too much there. I can't even. I don't even want to go into that. That's going to be too crazy. I really hope I don't have to hit on this one too much. Cavs, Knicks. The Cavs are two point favorites after the announcement of Kevin Love being out for three to four weeks. I think it's a better fit with Larry Nance Jr. and and Andre Drummond. I think they look great next to each other. The Knicks, Julius Randle's been been looking good, but he always looks good on that team, even though he's pretty bad. Uh, Mitchell Robinson's going to have to put a game together. R.J. Barrett's hit or miss. Obviously, I can see why the Cavs are two-point favorites. I'm leaning toward the Cavs. I think the Cavs have just shown they're they're 3-0. Oh. They want to keep it going. Sexland, Sexland. As Nance called the the duo over there of Colin, uh, Colin Sexton and Darius Garland has been fun to watch. Garland's been good defensively. He's been getting steals. He's getting into the pocket. I mean, he's he's been nice. I'm leaning Knicks minus two. I can't believe the the Cavs are, are I'm leaving Knicks minus two. I'm leaning Cavs minus two. Uh, the Cavs could be four and zero oh after today's game, which is just crazy. This is the, this is the best Cavs team. Since their championship run. So Cavs minus two. Taking that. I like that a lot. I'll, I'll take the over on 214 and a half though. The over under. I think there's still going to be a lot of points to be had in this game. Over 214 and a half. Drummond at 20 and a half points. I'll take the under on that. Darius Garland 14 and a half points. I'll take the over on that. Larry Nance Jr., 13 points. Oof. If I had to choose one, I'd take the over, but I'm going to stay away from that one, actually. Staying away. R.J. Barrett, 18 and a half points. I'm taking the under. I don't think he's going to drive. I think he's going to keep shooting, and I don't know how good of a shooter he actually is. He just keeps missing shots. Andre Drummond over under 38 and a half for points, rebounds, and assists. Hmm. 38 and a half is a lot. I'm going to take the under on that one. Yeah, I'm taking the under on that one for sure. Andre Drummond points, rebounds, assists, 38 and a half. Taking the under with some confidence there. Go to the assist numbers here. I'll take the over on three assists for Drummond, though. I think he gets at least four. Take the over, taking the big over on three and a half assists for Larry Nance Jr. Big over on that one. Like that a lot. And let's go, let's see what the total rebounds are. Over under 15 and a half rebounds for Andre Drummond. Wow. That's a big that's a big over under number there. It's doable. Andre Drummond's a monster. I'll take the over on Julius Randle's nine and a half rebounds. I like that one. And then I'm not I'm not even gonna get to the player performance double doubles. I don't know if you guys like those or not, but I, th- I just feel like I have to read through a lot of those. And I don't know if you if anyone really likes those bets. So you guys gotta let me know at VM Center. Let me know which bets you guys like me to cover. What props you guys like me to cover and things like that. And I'll try and switch it up. Obviously, I'm adding in the assists and the rebounds a little bit today. Uh, but the but the main bets just to recap that Cavs game, I like Cavs minus two, I like the over on fourteen and a half, I like I like the the Drummond the Drummond three assists over, or the Nance three and a half over. I like both of those a lot, and I also like the Darius Garland over fourteen and a half points. So I like all those. Next game, big game, Bucks Heat. The line started off as minus three, and I took that yesterday, uh, and I and I brought it up in the in the chat with with the guys over here, and uh, I said, I mean, if you're okay with taking a day early, I mean, obviously, I, t- I took a day earlier wager. Anything could have happened in that time. It's a little risky doing something like that, but they had ar- the Heat had already ruled Jimmy Butler out. So for those who don't know, Jimmy Butler has been ruled out for this game, or sorry, he's been ruled doubtful. For this game, and when when the Heat normally say doubtful, in my mind, I say that they're out. While I do think that they're still going to be competitive, 
I because I do like this Heat team. The Bucks, I think, just they have all the pieces just to put something together. I think Giannis is playing with a purpose this year, especially after missing free throws to end a game and, and taking that loss and then coming out the next day saying, I, I want more regular season minutes. They're just playing with some type of grit. They know that they that Giannis signed that extension with the mindset of we're making, we're going to get a championship. We're building for a championship. I think they're playing with that type of mentality. That's why me personally, I like the bucks a lot this year. So for futures, I think they're still third on the list at like plus 700. I like that. I like, I like the bucks plus 700 to win, to win the whole thing. Obviously it's going to come down to if Giannis can make shots, the wall, Long story short, I like the Bucks this season to win the championships, and they're they're the third option right now in terms of NBA futures. Again, no, no, my, Miami Heat saying that Jimmy Butler is doubtful. They're five and a half point underdogs. I like the five and a half for the Bucks, but without without Jimmy Butler there, I'll take that. There's not much on this game, just because I I don't. In terms of betting the the money line spread or totals, I don't like the total of two twenty six and a half. I mean, that's literally a coin flip for me. I don't feel confident going either way, so I'm going to steer away from that one. I like the under on nineteen and a half points for Bam out of the bio, though. I don't I don't see him getting I don't see him getting twenty points in this game. I like the under for fourteen points for Duncan Robinson. I think Brooke Lopez hasn't had that game yet. Ten and a half points is where he's set at. I could see I can see Brooke Lopez getting over ten and a half points. I'm leaning to the over on Brooke Lopez ten and a half points for sure, just by quick glance. I like the over on nine and a half points for Dante DiVincenzo. I like that one a lot. Over over nine and a half points for Dante DiVincenzo. I was hoping this next one was gonna be smaller. Because he hasn't looked good. I mean, he's looked good in terms of real life. But in terms of putting up numbers, Drew Holiday has not really had his game yet. And I was hoping maybe this was going to be at like 14, 15 points. But to be at 16 and a half over under kind of worries me a little bit. I still think Holiday has the potential of just averaging 18 points a game. For this team, and I think he needs to. I think he needs to have the ball in his hand more offensively than what he does. He's not just someone to bring the ball up and and to bail you out. He's someone that gets buckets. Like he can set. He should be running that offense more than he is currently right now. But at sixteen and a half points, I'm confident in Drew Holiday. I still think the points are there for him. I'm taking the over there. However, if you don't think he's going to score those points this next one, I'm definitely taking the over again. 20, 20 and a half points with no Jimmy Butler there. Chris Middleton is going to get buckets. He's been looking amazing this season starting out. He's just knocking down everything he sees over 20 and a half points for Chris Middleton. Drew Holiday over under on five and a half assists. I like the over there. I think Drew Holiday is going to get passes. But if you're taking Chris Middleton over, I would take I I would parlay that with like a five and a half over five and a half assists for Drew Holiday. I like that a lot. They don't think he's going to do it though. Vegas has that as a, that has the under at minus one fifty. I could see Holiday getting five assists in the first half, just lobs and passes to Chris Middleton for buckets. I mean, it just. If he's, but if they don't think he's getting the assist, I would again, I'd be taking that over sixteen and a half points. I like that a lot. Clicking through here, Bam out of the bio, ten and a half rebounds. Tyler Hero, five and a half rebounds. Do 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 do. It's crazy that Dante DiVincenzo and Brooke Lopez are both looking to get the same amount of rebounds because Brooke Lopez does not rebound. He's a blocking three-pointer specialist from the center position. Very interesting. So, yeah, you guys have those bets. I'm looking through. There's not much there to be had. I like Bucks minus 5.5 in, in this game. I think I think they 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 turn it up early, and, and, they, and, they, and they sustain and hold a, a lead for a long period of time in this game. I think they don't look back once the once the ball tips off. They don't look back at all. I like the over on sixteen and a half points for Drew Holiday. 
I like the over on five and a half assists for Drew Holiday. I like the over for 20 and a half points for Chris Middleton. Moving on to the next game here. Orlando Magic, Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder, man, they are a gritty team. It's the second I have a back-to-back, though. The five and a half points is kind of iffy for me. I, I don't know if I'd really take those five and a half points. Honestly, I'm fading this game. There's not much about this game that I like. I don't like the Magic, even though they won me money the other day. They are such a weird team. Aaron Gordon is probably going to have a much better game. And for value for those DFS players out there, I mean, obviously this is a wagering podcast for today in sports betting. Daily fantasy sports, in in my mind, is still sports betting since you're putting money on players. So if you guys are listening to this as if, hey, do you guys ever do like player talks in terms of fantasy, daily fantasy sports, Aaron Gordon would be my value there. I don't know how much he costs. But I think he's going to have upside there since he didn't have a very good last game since they limited his minutes. They're minus five and a half. Man, the Thunder just played so gritty. SGA is so good. Dort's been playing amazing. Second night of a back-to-back, there could be a fall-off. If I was leaning anywhere, it'd be on the Magic. I'm probably just staying away from this game entirely. I wouldn't touch that game at all. Nuggets, second night of a back-to-back. I just think this team is significantly better than the Kings. Nuggets, Kings. The Denver Nuggets are only two-point favorites over the Sacramento Kings. They're in Sacramento. Look, I I cover the Kings. That's that's what I do. And I get to write about them. I get to talk about them. I like this team. I think De'Aaron Fox has been great. I think Buddy Heald has stepped up this year. I just think offensively they're so one-dimensional still in the half-court set. They're they're a go-as-fast-as-you-can team. And I think this Nuggets defense is the best defense they've faced this season. So I'm taking Nuggets minus two in a big way. And I think it's going to come down to the Joker. I think the Joker, who's been amazing this season, is easily going to outwork Hassan Whiteside easily going to outwork Rashawn Holmes and is easily going to outwork Marvin Bagley he's just a big body that can do a lot of different things and I and we haven't even seen the Jamal Murray game yet Will Barton always seems to piece up the Kings there's just so many Gary Harris is always seems to piece up the Kings in games where Gary Harris stinks leading up to it somehow Gary Harris always goes off against the Kings he's one of the King Slayers I don't I don't I don't get it about Gary Harris he just goes off him and Will Barton but we haven't even seen the Jamal Murray game yet. I, th- I think this. I think minus two points. I'm leaning heavy on the Nuggets here. I think they're going to be really good. The 226. I'm leaning on the over on that. I think there's going to be points to be had. I don't think the Kings are going to go away easily. I think this can come down to the fourth quarter. I just closing minutes. Nuggets are that good defensively, offensively, and I haven't even talked about Michael Porter Jr. yet and and what he can bring. Weapons-wise, I just think the Nuggets are better. Skill-wise, I think the Nuggets are better. I just I at minus 2 points, I I really like. I get it. It's the second night of a back-to-back. You're in Sacramento. I I just have to take the Nuggets minus 2. I'm very confident in that one. I like that one a lot. Next game we have the Clippers versus the Timberwolves. Again, I'm going to be fading this game. They have no Carl Anthony Towns. There's no official word yet on Kawhi, but he did practice yesterday. I'm pretty sure he's going to play in today's game. But I would fade this game altogether. The Clippers are just so hard to read. You never know who's really going to go off. If you, I can go look into these prop bets quickly here just to see what, what appears. But like I said, with this, with this Clippers team, it's just so hard. And it looks like they don't even have props yet out for this game. And look, that's what I'm saying. Like they, Even Vegas doesn't know what type of props to put together. There's no prop bets out officially for, for that game. Game of the night, the final game of the night, I should say, Pelicans, Phoenix Suns. The Pelicans are coming in as two-and-a-half-point underdogs. And I think it's just mainly due to the fact that the Suns are home, so they gave them that three-point edge. 
I am leaning to the Pelicans here. I like the Pelicans team. I love the way their offense is played. Brandon Ingram has been amazing. Zion has been amazing. Lonzo is going to figure out that he needs to have the ball more than Eric Bledsoe, or at least that team does, and I'm hoping that they do soon because I'm tired of seeing Eric Bledsoe with the ball initiating the offense. Lonzo is better at it than Eric Bledsoe is. Eric Bledsoe, just, just be the slasher dunker and want to be shooter that you want to be stop taking the ball out of Lonzo's hands because you're taking away this man's assist money line underdog plus 120 I'm on the Pelicans I think the Pelicans are winning this game and I think it's going to be a very close fun game I think there's going to be points in this game so I'm taking the over on 222 this is my favorite game of the night top three games is going to be Number one, Pelican Suns. Number two, Celtics, Pacers. And then number three, Raptors, Sixers. But I love the Pelicans today. I think the Pelicans are really good. I think Zion's been really, really good. Aiden's going to have his game. I think Aiden's finally going to have a game where he where he plays well. But he's going up against a tough guy too and Steven Adams. That wall that, that Zion and, and Steven Adams have been in the post has been crazy. They're so strong down there. I love the Pelicans today. Plus 120. I'm taking that for sure. All right, guys. Where we are running short on time. I'm not going to go over all of these prop bets here. So just know we do have the Pelicans money line there. That is the underdog I have on the day. Like them a lot. Uh, you guys can follow me again on all social media platforms of at VM Center. Shout out to our sponsor, mybookie.ag, for sponsoring this show. You guys go on mybookie.ag, use promo code HOOPBALL, H-O-O-P, ball, B-A-L-L. Use that promo code. They match up to $1,000 of your very first deposit. Then you also reach out to Dan Bespris at Dan Bespris on Twitter. And I believe he will help you out with another prize. $4.99. $4.99. Five whole dollars total to get these wager pass picks so you can see exactly what I'm picking, exactly how many units, everything. Get that wager pass. Join the Discord. The conversations are, are growing uh, what we talk about in there, the picks that you guys get earlier than the wager pass even gets published for the public eye. It's awesome. You have experts in there. All the cappers are in there. Good thing to be in. It's only $4.99. Join the Discord. Join the wager pass. Get those picks. Let's all start making money. NBA season is upon us. Let's start making money. NFL plays, playoffs are about to be here. Let's start making money. UFC starts. I think next Saturday or even this Saturday. Let's start making money. Join the wager pass for $4.99, mybookie.ag. This has been a hoop-ball.com presentation. I have been your host today, Vince Miracle, at VM Center on all social media platforms. And until next time. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation. It takes thousands of hours to become an astronaut. Right, Nina? Oh, I'm not an astronaut. I'm a design consultant at the Container Store. But you explore space. I help you find space with our Alpha Closet systems. And you're an expert. Pretty good at it. And you use satellites to communicate. I'm doing more virtual in-home closet designs, but I wouldn't say... We salute you, astronaut Nina, for helping us find space. You're welcome. Hurry to the Container Store to save 30% on all Alpha systems. At the Container Store, where space comes from.